Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sienna Loren, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Micro Shift from Sound Toys to thicken and widen the vocals in your tracks. As you can see, I have Cubase open, and I've already got a, a track queued up here. This is a song of mine that I've been working on called Fake Friends. And here I've got the main vocal, I've got some doubles, and then some additional doubles on this phrase here, and then some hmms happening. And I have those all sent to a group track. And there I have a send, an effect send, which is where you will find micro shift. So I'm gonna play the bridge of this track since it's where I have most of the vocal layers. Micro shift is a micro pitch shift plugin. So what I'm gonna do now is play what it sounds like without any of this signal in the mix. And I'm gonna introduce it the next time around. So here you go. No, no micro shift right here. Like knockoffs and fool's gold It won't take long till you know Who's really rich and who's counterfeit If the B-I-T-C-H fits If the B-I-T-C-H fits So now Going back over here and we're gonna Exaggerate the signal Just turn it all the way up right now like knockoffs and fool's gold It won't take long till you know Who's really rich and who's counterfeit If the B-I-T-C-H fits If the B-I-T-C-H fits As you can hear, there's pitch shifting happening It feels like there's now more space and dimension To what's, what's going on So now the nuts and the bolts of the knobs on this plugin There's a mix dry and wet that's the balance between the unprocessed signal and the processed signal this is really useful if you're using it as an insert on the actual audio source as opposed to ascend since i'm using it as ascend in this in this instance i'm going to want to have the wet 100 percent. if you click on mix it'll show you 100 percent. focus is a two band eq a crossover eq which allows you to roll off some of the low end if you want to so that way the micro shift is only pitch shifting the frequencies above this threshold that you're setting. That's great if you just want to bring out the mids and the highs, like I said, affect those things. You don't muddy up the bottom end. So let's go ahead and take a listen to turning that knob so you can hear what I'm talking about. Like knockoffs and fool's gold, it won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit if the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. As you could hear, it was taking away a lot of the body as I was turning the knob up. Next we have detune, which is the amount of detuning, as you would think. So it uses a percentage. It starts at min, goes to max. Let's take a listen to this one. Like knockoffs and fool's gold, it won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. As you can hear, as you turn it towards max, it widens more. It gets detuned more, as you would expect. So then lastly, we over here for the knobs, we've got delay, which is the delay between the original sound source and the wet process signal. So let's take a listen to that in action. Like knockoffs and fool's gold, it won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit if the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. So that adds more dimension to what's going on in the sound. That's the cool thing about micro shift. It's just, it pitch shifts, yes, but it also creates more space, which I, I find so pleasing to the ear. So then in here, you've got style one, style two, style three. Style one and two are based off of two presets from a piece of hardware called the H3000. And style three is based on a piece of hardware called the AMS, I believe. I've never used the hardware and I can't speak on that. We've been listening to one. So let's take a listen to two. Like knockoffs and fool's gold, it won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit if the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. Now number like three. Like knockoffs and fool's gold, it won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit if the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. 
So that's the basics of this plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detune it 100%, delay it 100%. And I like the style one. The, I had that on there. I'm going to leave the focus at 20 hertz because I've already done a lot of processing, EQing, and things like that before I got to this point. So I really just want to truly double what's happening. And so then I'm going to go and I'll turn it down and then I'll add it in. Like knock off some fool's gold. It won't take long till you know who's really rich and who's counterfeit. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. If the B-I-T-C-H fits. And that's it. And that's it. Now you got thicker vocals here. And I also put this on because I wanted to show you they have a version called Little Micro Shift, which is what I had been using before getting Micro Shift. And as you can see, um, it's a little version where you can choose between the three styles that we talked about. And it also has the, the dry, wet mix knob for the Micro Shift. That's all I've got. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and at the very least have one more tool in your toolbox when you're thinking, man, I really want to have a thicker vocal. So thank you so much for watching.